touching them with <laughs> with with faith, gl- trust, and a little glitter, bit of pixie dust. Glitter and Jesus. Glitter and Jesus. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to talk to you about our walls and our window frames. So yeah, you may have already noticed that the bedroom area is completely done. So we're just going to go over the process and show you how we got to that point. And like with all of our videos, we are by no means experts. Not experts. We are not trying to pretend to be either. So with this episode, you're going to see a lot of the steps we went through were really on a whim. We did a lot of research, which is very important. You want to know what materials you're going to be working with. Right. Uh, ultimately, what you want the end product to look like and work back from there. So we'll go through that step by step now. So the first steps we took was to install some fern strips using one by two poplar and having them attached to the van wall with a combination of rivet nuts and self-tapping screws. That way, when we install our wall paneling, they have something to attach to. And not only are they helpful for having something to attach to, but it keeps that wall structure. Yeah. So having enough of those furring strips um, keep the wall even, and it keeps it from bowing in those areas that don't have a furring strip. So yeah. you want to make sure that you plan out those furring strips. And then also another step that we did to, f to finish that was to add in some additional insulation to fill that void. So for our wall paneling, we decided to go with a vinyl plank tongue and groove just because we didn't want to paint any more wood and we wanted something that was easy to install and maintain. So what we did was we measured that area and the length of the wall and then cut that piece on the vinyl plank. And then installing it to the furring strips was just a combination of self-tapping screws in some places, but mostly some brad nails yeah. with our with our new newly purchased nail gun that is quite the purchase that I'm excited about. So yeah. that's how we attached it. Yeah. Okay, so after we finished our first wall, which is arguably the only easy wall that we had because it was just just a flat wall we had to move to the other side of the bedroom where we have our small little window there and so that took a lot of planning a lot of considerations that we made and finally settled on we wanted to keep as much space as possible in the bedroom so we didn't want the window frame coming out too far or the furring strips and the wall panels coming out and losing uh, that very valuable foot space for one of us um, and the dogs because that's where they <laughs> tend to sleep but um, so for uh, framing of that wall it really starts with framing the window itself mm -hmm. so for this smaller window we got to practice our Craig jig for the first time <laughs> that's, true. Um, that's something we bought early on because everybody said oh this is super helpful with all of these projects and we weren't finding anything to use it for but this was our first time, um, now I'm addicted to it. But um, So we used a combination of some one by twos to frame it out, mm -hmm. measuring how the frame was gonna sit mm -hmm. uh, on that window. And obviously we didn't want it moving around. So um, we used one by twos, we actually painted that white as well so that some of those areas that you might see would blend in with the wall panels. Mm -hmm. And then we added a combination of two by twos and two by threes around the frame itself to really hold it in place. Yeah. And we adhered those to the wall with some liquid nails. So that helped keep that frame secure. And then we also had some additional, almost furring strips if you would, to attach those wall planks to. So once the window frame was installed, we had a better idea of what kind of pieces we need to cut our wall paneling to so it could um, frame that area. Yep. So we just continued the same process, cutting the, the wall paneling to length and attaching them using some brad nails. So once that was done, we wanted a consistent look throughout the van. So we moved our focus to the van doors, the back doors. And so again, we just wanted it to look the same. And so we continued to add more paneling, but also to touch, uh, to add a little touch of uh, some character. Yeah. We added, or we made, or Patrick made a little shelf, a little, little cubby, cubby, little cubby hole. Little cubby hole. Yeah. Um, and it's actually kind of cute. Yeah. It, you know, it adds a little, little homey touch to the van. So we have a space to put our phones or maybe a plant or a picture frame. I don't know, we'll see but we'll probably install another one as well, just so it can look even, yeah. but this is how it turned out. Okay, so in this window and wall area, we're gonna be installing the window frame, but also prepping for this underneath area, which is going to be a bench, as well as our refrigerator storage. So that's gonna be a different episode. 
um, but here we want to get this area ready. We will also have a cabinet above this bench. Um, so first, the first part of this, we've created a, a frame for the window. Now because of where we want the wall to sit out, it's actually a little bit too thin. So what we're going to have to do is put an additional piece kind of on the back of this to push it out a little bit more. Um, and then that's what we're going to secure the wall, for, uh, the wall strips to. Alright, so we are ready. We are finished with our window frame for this window. Um, what we did was we got it the right size, we framed it out, and then we also painted the sides that are going to be showing. So we're just going to test it out, make sure it still fits snug. Go in here. And there we go. So with this window frame, we are going to use some liquid nails to adhere it to the van wall itself. We're also going to make sure that when we put our wall slats on, that's going to keep it secure. But it's uh, it's fitting very well now, so let's uh, let's start putting the wall on. Okay, so just kidding. I know that we said we were going to use some liquid nails and basically glue this to the wall. That wasn't going to work. Um, there's not enough contact points between the frame and the wall. So what we've done is we've added a couple um, pieces here to secure it from top to bottom basically. So through the wall, into this little piece, into the frame, it's very secure. I'm pulling on it right now. Um, so we're happy with how it is down at the bottom, the two on top. So we are ready to start to frame it with our wall panels. So then finally we have our bigger window in the living room area where um, where you can see where we're sitting at right now. So once again we had to measure more of our paneling, cut it to length, and attach them using some self tappers because we really want this area to be secure. And so again we framed the bigger window which was a little bit difficult yeah. because it's probably like five times yeah. bigger than the smaller one. Yeah. So, and the so. area of the wall was deeper too. Oh, so right. we we finished that small window. We were super confident. <laughs> we walked over to this one, and it was not as easy. Right. So when we talked about kind of going on a whim, figuring it out step by step, what's going to work, what's not, that was this window. That's this guy. Um, but really, you know, we just kind of through that trial and error, figured it out, um, made it the width that it needs to be added that uh, wall paneling and then as you can see on the outside we wanted to frame it up almost make it look like a nice a nice picture frame um, and so that is just smaller pieces of vinyl actual molding so like uh, crown actual, molding yeah, actual um, for window frames yeah, yeah. It's for that so uh, it's but it's again very thin we want to keep as much space as possible but we framed that up used it on the inside too um, to create that that uh, picture frame look and um, and that's that's our window frame uh, but this area is now complete. Um, some of the unfinished is where the shower and the bathroom are going to go, where, where that wall will be to give you a little visual. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our walls and our windows. Yeah. So I think we're, we're ready to move on to the next project. Which is? I don't know. I'm getting a little hungry. We might have to start working on that kitchen. So until next time, thanks for taking a pause for Pit Stop with us, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.